Ritual of Sunday morning football in the park has resumed and for millions of children the even more important ritual of the start of autumn term is looming. After an unprecedented five months out of school, these parents have already weighed the risks and decided school comes first. But the first time when they're supposed to go back, we we're a bit concerned because I wasn't, we we're not sure how uh, we'll deal with it. So we skipped it the first time, but this time around I think we're, we're happy for them to go. And do you think there is a risk? I think there's always different risks. I think it's, it's as important, if not more so, for the kids to see their friends, um, continue their education. None of us are completely happy about it, but you're balancing the need for them to be back into a structured environment with friends and a learning environment as well. So whilst I wouldn't say it's a risk, if there is a risk, it's a risk worth, worth taking. In Scotland, pupils are already back at their desks. In the next few weeks, the rest of the UK will follow with attendance mandatory once again. England's top medic has been sent out to convince parents the science says it's OK. The chances of many children being damaged by not going to school are, are incredibly clear and therefore the balance of risk is very strongly in favour of children actually going to school because many more are likely to be harmed by not going than harmed by going, even during this pandemic. These are for the staff. The students will have their own packs. At this school in Solihull, they're preparing for socially distanced school life. Pupils will be in year group bubbles. There'll be no assemblies. The head teacher says school will feel very different. From the students eating, to working, to their movement around, to break times, to even using the bathroom, etc. We've had to completely rethink all that through with their safety being absolutely uh, paramount. The chief medical officer did also warn that the return of school could push the rate of infection up. Unions warn the government needs a plan B for exactly that. It means thinking, if the case number up, can we have more teachers and more teaching spaces so that class sizes can be smaller and schools can remain open. It means plan, it means thinking about what happens if there's a spike and you have to close schools. After his holiday in Scotland with his partner and baby, the Prime Minister will be back at work next week. After so many false steps, now his government really needs to look as though it's put the work in ahead of its biggest educational test.